The cultural heritage of Sri Lanka can be pointed out as a factor influencing the growth of the tourism industry in Sri Lanka. There are many instances where the cultural heritage of Sri Lanka is clear. Among them, temples and shrines occupy a prominent place. Now, we identify one more temple among the various temples spread all over Sri Lanka. Veragalakanda Temple in Payagala Kalutara is one of the oldest temples in Sri Lanka. It is located on a mountain about 500 meters above sea level and about 1 kilometer away. This is an area of natural beauty and is very attractive. The temple is located on a hill and a large rocky plate. The access to it is also very scenic. Arrangements have been made to enter the temple premises through a flight of stairs. There are several legends about this temple. It is said that during the reign of King Tutukamunu, a minister named Behera, who was appointed for the area called Beherahena in Matara, had a conflict with the king and hid in this place. That is why this area is called Beheragala. It is said that after that King Nishankamalla organized armies from this place before he became king. After his coronation, he built a Dharma hall in this temple. Legend has it that a seven-story pavilion was set up inside and local cases were heard. There are four moon stones around the pavilion. Registered with the De Department of Archaeology, this Dharma Hall and the seven story pavilion are very important features. It is the oldest stone seven story pavilion in Sri Lanka. Also, the Dharma Hall was built with the help of very high stone pillars. At present, a very tall standing statue is being made here. It is one of the tallest standing statues in Sri Lanka. It is prepared in seven stages. There are also two stone ponds made by the Minister of Vehera. They are not currently in use. Also in the temple, we can see a Dagaba which was built about 500 years ago. There is a stone staircase at the top to access it. The existing Buddha statue has been covered and constructed. This temple has a shrine with painting from the Candian period. There are very old paintings as well as several Buddha statues. The entrance to this shrine is made of stone pillars. It is acknowledged that this is a very historical place. In addition to this, we can see a bow tree and a devale built around a cow in this temple. Also, the stone well is another unique thing that exists here. It is our duty to further preserve this ancient temple mentioned in the Gira Sandesha. It is very important if it can be further developed as a tourist attraction.